Neurokinin-1 (NK1) antagonists pedants, are a novel class of medications that possesses unique antidepressant, anxiolytic, and antiemetic properties. NK1 antagonists boost the efficacy of 5-HT3 antagonists to prevent nausea and vomiting. The discovery of neurokinin-1 (NK1) receptor antagonists was a turning point in the prevention of nausea and vomiting associated with cancer chemotherapy. An example of a drug in this class is a prepotent. Chemotherapy-induced emesis appears to consist of acute and delayed phases. So far, the acute phase emesis responds to 5-HT3 antagonists while the delayed phase remains difficult to control. The discovery and development of NK1 receptor antagonists have elicited antiemetic effect in both acute and especially in delayed phases of emesis. Casopotent, netopotent and rolapotent are some newer additions in this group. Rolapotent has a significantly long half-life of 160 hours and was approved by the US FDA in 2015. The first registered clinical use of NK1 receptor antagonists was the treatment of emesis, associated with cancer chemotherapy. History in 1931, von Euler and Gadam discovered substance P SP in horse brain and intestine. The substance showed strong vasodilatory effects and contractal activity on the rabbit gut. A great effort was put into purifying this substance from diverse mammalian tissue, but 30 years of research were without success. Nonmammalian peptides that elicited the same vasodilatory and contractile effects as SP were discovered by Erspammer in the early 1960s. These peptides had a common C-terminal sequence, and were grouped together as tachykinins. In 1971, Chong managed to purify SP from horse intestine and identify its amino acid sequence. SP was then classified as a mammalian tachykinin. Later it became clear that SP was a neuropeptide that was common in the central and peripheral nervous system. In the mid-1980s, the additional mammalian tachykinin neurokinin A NKA, and neurokinin B NKB, were discovered. This led to further research, resulting in the isolation of the genes that encoded the mammalian tachykinins and eventually the discovery of three different tachykinin receptors. In 1984, it was decided that the tachykinin receptors should be called tachykinin NK1 receptor, tachykinin NK2 receptor and tachykinin NK3 receptor. Biological research that identified the many functions of tachykinins sparked interest in neurokinin receptor antagonists' development. In the 1980s, several peptide antagonists derived from SP were the first NK1 receptor antagonists. However, these compounds, like most peptide compounds, had problems with selectivity, potency, solubility and bioavailability. For this reason, pharmaceutical companies concentrated on developing non-peptide NK1 receptor antagonists, and in 1991, three different companies revealed their first results. Since then, non-peptide NK1 receptor antagonists have been researched extensively and many structures and patents have appeared. Proposing the concept in the early 1990s, in 1998 Kramer, et al., reported clinical data on the efficacy and safety of MK869 a prepotent, in patients with major depressive disorder. In 2003, the first NK1 receptor antagonist, a prepotent, amend, received marketing approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. The NEUROKININ1 receptor Tachykinins are a family of neuropeptides that share the same hydrophobic C-terminal region with the amino acid sequence Fx gly lu med nh 2 where X represents a hydrophobic residue that is either an aromatic or a beta-branched aliphatic. The N-terminal region varies between different tachykinins. The term tachykinin originates in the rapid onset of action caused by the peptides in smooth muscles. SP is the most researched and potent member of the tachykinin family. It is an undecapeptide with the amino acid sequence ARG pro lis pro gln gln fi fi gly lu met nh2. SP binds to all three of the tachykinin receptors, but it binds most strongly to the NK1 receptor. Tachykinin NK1 receptor, often referred to as NK1 receptor, is a member of family 1, rhodopsin like, of G protein coupled receptors and binds to the G alpha Q protein. 
NK1 receptor consists of 407 amino acid residues, and it has a molecular weight of 58.000. NK1 receptor, as well as the other tachykinin receptors, is made of 7 hydrophobic transmembrane TM, domains with 3 extracellular and 3 intracellular loops, an amino terminus and a cytoplasmic carboxy terminus. The loops have functional sites, including two cysteines amino acids for a disulfide bridge, asp arg tier, which is responsible for association with arrestin and lis arg lis arg xx lis arg, which interacts with G proteins. Drug discovery and development in 1991, three different groups researched different NK1 receptor antagonists by screening of chemical collections. Eastman Kodak and Sterling Winthrop discovered steroid series of tachykinin NK1 receptor antagonists that yielded some compounds but lacked sufficient affinity for the NK1 receptor, despite structure activity relationship SAR, studies that were performed. This series proved to have significant toxicity. Even though many derivatives of the steroid compounds have been synthesized, biological activity has not been improved. Roan Koolink discovered the compound RP67580, which has high affinity for the NK1 receptor in rats and mice, but not in humans. SAR studies that were performed in order to improve the selectivity for the human NK1 receptor resulted in the development of a compound called RPR100893. This compound showed good activity in vivo and in models of pain and was developed up to phase 2 for the treatment of migraines but then terminated, as was the case with other NK1 receptor antagonists that were tested for the same indication. The third company, Pfizer, discovered a benzylaminoquinucleidine structure, which was called CP96345, figure 1. CP96345 has a rather simple structure, composed of a rigid quinucleidine scaffold containing a basic nitrogen atom, a benzhydryl moiety and an O-methoxy benzylamine group. This compound showed high affinity for the NK1 receptor, but it also interacted with Ca2 plus binding sites. Strongly basic quinucleidine nitrogen on the compound was considered to be responsible for this Ca2 plus binding, which caused a number of systemic effects, unrelated to the blocking of the NK1 receptor. For that reason and also to simplify the structure, alkylation at this site was performed to produce analogs. The compound CP99994 was synthesized by replacing the quinucleidine ring with a piperidine ring and benzhydryl moiety by a benzyl group. Figure 2. CP99994 had a high affinity for the human NK1 receptor and it started a great amount of structure activity studies, each intending to identify the structural requirements for high affinity interaction with the NK1 receptor, and to make the molecule even simpler and improve its chemico-physical and pharmacological properties. CP99994 eased dental pain in humans and entered phase 2 clinical trials, these were discontinued because of poor bioavailability. Pfizer researched several other related NK1 receptor antagonists. CJ11974, also called eslopotent, was a close analog of CP96345 that had an isopropyl group on the methoxybenzyl ring. It was developed up to phase 2 clinical trials for chemotherapy-induced emesis before development was discontinued. CP122721 was a CP99994 analog that had a trifluoromethoxy group in the O-methoxybenzyl ring. It entered phase 2 trials for the treatment of depression, emesis and inflammatory diseases, but no further development has been reported. Development of the first drug in 1993, Merck started performing SAR studies of NK1 receptor antagonists, based on both CP96345 and CP99994. L-733060 is one of the compounds that were developed from CP99994. It has a 3,5-bestrifluoromethylbenzyleather piperidine in place of 2-methoxybenzylamine moiety of CP99994 compound. To improve oral bioavailability, the piperidine nitrogen was functionalized in order to reduce its basic nature. The group that gave the best effects on basicity was 3-oxo-1,2,4-triazol-5-yl moiety and it gave compounds such as L741671 and L742694. 
A morpholine nucleus that was introduced in L742694 was found to enhance NK1 binding affinity. This nucleus was preserved in further modifications. In order to prevent possible metabolic deactivation, several refinements such as methylation on the C-alpha of the benzyl ring and fluorination on the phenyl ring were introduced. These changes produced the compound MK869, which showed high affinity for the NK1 receptor and high oral activity figure 3. MK869 is also called a prepotent, and was studied in pain, migraines, emesis and psychiatric disorders. These studies led to the FDA-approved drug amend for chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, and is available for oral use. A water-soluble phosphoryl prodrug for intravenous use, called phosphoprepotent, is also available and is marketed as Ivmend. A prepotent was also believed to be effective in the treatment of depression. It entered phase 3 trials before the development for this indication was discontinued. Other compounds Many compounds have been described by various pharmaceutical companies besides the compounds that led to the discovery of a prepotent. GR205171 figure 4 was developed by Glaxo and was based on CP99994. GR205171 had a tetrazole ring in position 4 of the benzyl ring of CP99994 that was intended to increase oral bioavailability and improve pharmacokinetic properties. It was developed up to phase 2 clinical trials for the treatment of postoperative nausea and vomiting, migraine and motion sickness. It showed good results in emesis, but development was discontinued. Li 303870, or lanepotent, figure 5, is an N-acetylated reduced amide of L-tryptophan that was discovered by Eli Lilly. It underwent phase IA clinical trials for the treatment of osteoarthritis pain but showed no significant effects. Eli Lilly made some SAR work on its structure and developed some compounds that did not enter clinical trials. By a general hypothesis on peptidic G protein coupled receptors binding site, Takeda discovered a series of N benzyl curvixiamides in 1995. One of those compounds, TOC 637, figure 6, underwent phase 2 clinical trials for urinary incontinence, depression, and irritable bowel syndrome, but the development was discontinued. There are still other compounds that have been researched in the past and even reached clinical trials, and research continues despite the lack of success in clinical trials. Binding There is more than one ligand binding domain on the NK1 receptor for the non-peptide antagonists, and these binding domains can be found in various places. The main ligand binding site is in the hydrophobic core between the loops and the outer segments of transmembrane domains 3 to 7 TM3 TM7 Several residues such as GLN165 TM4 his 197 TM5 his 265 TM6 and tier 287 TM7 are involved in the binding of many non-peptide antagonists of the NK1 receptors it has been stated that all a replacement of his 197 decreases the binding affinity of CP96345 for the NK1 receptor. His 197 interacts with the Benz hydryl moiety of CP96345. Experiments have showed that replacing VAL 116 TM3 and IL 290 TM7 decreases the binding affinity of CP96345. Evidence indicates that these residues probably do not interact with antagonists, but would rather indirectly influence the overall conformation of the antagonist binding site. The residue GLN165 TM4 has also proven to be meaningful for the binding of several non-peptide antagonists, possibly through the formation of a hydrogen bond. Phi 268 and Tier 287 have been proposed as possible contact points for both agonist and antagonist binding domains. The significance of his 265 has been confirmed in the binding of antagonists to NK1 receptor. His 265 interacts favorably with the 3,5-bis trifluoromethylphenyl group, TFMP group, of an analog CP96345. 
Nonetheless, it has been demonstrated that all a replacement of his 265 does not affect the binding affinity of CP96345. Some other residues that are thought to be involved in the binding of non peptide antagonists to NK1 receptor are SR169, GLU193, LIS194, FI264, FI264, FI267, PRO 271, and Tier 272. Each structural class of non-peptide NK1 receptor antagonists appears to interact with a specific set of residues within the common binding pocket. Structure activity relationship SAR, and pharmacophore There are at least three essential elements which are important for the interactivity of a ligand with the NK1 receptor. First, the ion pair site interactivity with the bridgehead nitrogen, second, the accessory binding site interactivity with the benzhydryl group, and third, the specific site interactivity with the 2-methoxybenzyl amino side chain. Studies have shown that compounds with piperidine ring have selectivity for NK1 receptor over NK2, NK3, opioid and 5-HT receptors. By adding an NHETEROARYL2PHENYL3 benzyloxy group to the piperidine, a selective NK1 receptor antagonist is produced. Studies have also shown that the dihedral angle between groups on C2 and C3 and CP99994 is critical for activity of the NK1 receptor antagonists. The bridgehead basic nitrogen is thought to interact with the NK1 receptor by mediating its recognition through ion pair site. It has been found that the basic nitrogen atoms in pyridot 3, 4B, pyridine do have an anchoring function in the phospholipid component of the cell membrane. In the development of MK869, it was discovered that 3, 5 disubstitution of the benzyl ring in the ether series gave greater potency than the 2 methoxy substitution in earlier benzylamine structures. It also was revealed that the TFMP group appeared to be especially important, and it is believed that it enhances activity in vivo and improves metabolism. Other groups, like the orthomethoxyphenyl group, can be important in specific cases, but are thought to play a greater role in ligand preorganization through intramolecular hydrogen bonding, rather than through direct interaction with binding site residue. The presence of an intramolecular face-to-face pi-pi interaction between two aromatic rings is a common feature of high-affinity NK1 receptor antagonists. This feature is thought to be important in stabilizing the bioactive conformation. This interaction can be increased with a conformationally restricted system, such as an eight-membered ring introduced into the naphthyridine ring. Future development Chemotherapy-induced emesis is a major problem in cancer treatment. A new compound, T2328, figure 7, a non-peptide antagonist of the tachykinin NK1 family, is studied for that purpose. T2328 is administered intravenously, and treats both acute and delayed emesis. It is proposed to exert its anti-emetic effect through acting on brain NK1 receptors. T2328 is very potent, the inhibition constant is of subnanomolar range and is 16 times lower than that of a prepotent. The inhibition is highly selective for NK1 receptors. The NK2 and NK3 receptors are also targets for novel classes of medications, and also show prominent antidepressive and anxiolytic effects. Studies showed that the inhibition constant key for NK2 receptors was greater than 10,000-fold higher and for NK3 receptors greater than 1,000-fold higher than that for NK1 receptors. The affinity was also much lower for NK2 and NK3 receptors. Since tachykinins were discovered, they have been shown to possess biological activity in number of pathological and physiological systems. Nevertheless, the therapeutic potential of the tachykinin antagonists has not been fully understood. New discoveries about the NK1 receptor In 2009, it was found that the NK1R gene is transcribed in four mRNA variants, which at the same time are translated into four NK1R isoforms that have different affinities to substance P, known to play a main role in lowering stress response when working on these receptors. The purpose of the study was to investigate whether these genetic variants of NK1R are related to alcohol dependence. 
The study used 337 Caucasian subjects as the control and 271 Caucasian subjects that were diagnosed with alcohol dependence. White blood cells from each subject were obtained in 11 single nucleotide polymorphisms SNPs across the NK1R gene were genotyped. After examination, as both individual SNPs and at the haplotype level, it was discovered that the 6,715,729 rupees SNP showed a significant difference of the genotypic and allelic frequency between the two groups. At the haplotype level, they found two risk haplotypes for alcohol dependence that were formed from a combination of three SNPs, 6,715,729 rupees, 735,668 rupees and 6,741,029 rupees, that also showed a significant difference between the two groups. Thus, these polymorphisms of the NK1R gene are indeed associated with the development of alcohol dependence. See also Casopotent Meropotent Rolapotent Tachykinin receptor G-protein coupled receptors References <laughs>